how quickly, well, let me rewind just a little bit. When you were there in your first deployment, like you said, it's uh, 2003, the war in Iraq is is underway. Obviously, the United States military was able to quickly kind of destabilize the Iraqi military, take Baghdad. It was an incredible show of mechanized power and air power. When you get there, how can you kind of paint a scene for the audience? How bad are things on the ground? Is it still a ton of combat? Because it's before the insurgency, but after the initial invasion. So what's kind of the tempo of how things are? Yeah, so the out tempo was pretty fast, obviously going out on missions. Uh, I think the danger uh, wasn't quite there yet. At, at that point, we're going after the guys from you know Saddam's regime and whatnot. So the foreign fighter network hadn't quite made its way into our Iraq. Uh, IEDs won a thing you know, in 2003. So it was, I would say, relatively safe. Um, and what we were doing, we really weren't going against a, uh, our, a formidable enemy at that point. So it was kind of going out, doing our job. I guess you could say relatively easy for a novel situation. Did you find that most of the Iraqis did want to fight, or did they have no interest really of of facing the United States military? And if you know, if you came across some Iraqis who maybe were armed, or you think they're bad guys, and you make contact with them, how often would it be that they're like, "We don't want to do this. Like, we have no interest in getting in shootouts with you guys." Well, I think initially uh, where we were at. We didn't see a lot of that, not a, not a whole lot of resistance. So obviously the way we did business, you know, we wanted to ensure that we had time uh, to react. Um, so kind of stacking like the cards a lot of favor there. But I would say initially, you know, that first appointment, probably in uh, 2004, there was a lot of resistance, especially from the other back initially. 